Okay, so today's fossil prep is going to be of some dinosaur material from the Wessex formation of the Isle of Wight. So we know that dates back to the early Cretaceous. Uh, so we know this is dinosaur material from about 125 million years ago. Now this is the bone block that we're going to be prepping today. And as you can see, there's definitely bone material within it. And in fact, it weighs, it weighs a hell of a lot. So um, this is a large uh, chunk of bone, that's for sure. But there's a lot of matrix that still needs to be exposed, but the quality of the bone preservation looks exceptional. Although when they're in their unprepped state, it's often quite hard to figure out what they are. I've got a good suspicion of what I think this is going to be. And I think it's going to be a vertebrae, uh, a neck vertebrae from a large, long-necked uh, dinosaur known as a sauropod. Uh, and I actually think it's likely to be one of the larger vertebrae um, of a sauropod, which is uh, probably positioned around here uh, on the neck. Here's a historical, beautiful historical illustration of uh, the Diplodocus cervical verts, so the neck verts, um, which really range in size. They get much, much smaller as they get towards the head because actually sauropods have pretty small heads. And I think um, this vertebrae, based on its size and complexity, is probably one of the 13th, 14th or 15th vert vertebrae of a, uh, of a large sauropod from the, uh, from the Isle of Wight. So let's get into, um, into prepping this vertebrae out. Now, firstly, I thought I'd share why I thought this is, or why I think this is a, a large cervical neck vertebrae from sauropod. And there's a few uh, giveaways in this. The first you can see in this uh, little prep section here, which are the small holes that are, um, that are really obvious in the side of this vertebrae. And they're known as pneumatic formina. Now, there's not enough time in this video to explain exactly what these femina do, but effectively they're connected with the cervical air sac system that you see in most sauropods and also modern birds, which help improve the breathing efficiency of these, uh, of these large dinosaurs. Um, they also help in the reduction of the overall weight of the, of the bone. As you know, these long necked dinosaurs were some of the most enormous things that have ever, ever lived. And actually, if you cut open this bone, you'd see that it's, that it's a really hollow um, uh, honeycomb type structure. It's a really complex structure. Structure. And, uh, and that really helped reduce the overall weight. In fact, I read a, um, a scientific review recently that said by volume, um, over 60% of, um, of these uh, uh, vertebrae was actually made up of air. So it shows a way of, uh, even though they were so big in vertebrae, it reduces the overall weight, um, which is important for these massive long necked dinosaurs. There are a couple of other clues as well. The one is I'm working on here, which is the really rounded end, the condyle um, of the vertebrae, which were uh, really obvious features of, uh, of sauropod cervical verts. And finally is, of course, the size of this piece. This is about a foot across. So the size of this vert must have come from something um, enormous. And, and obviously the candidates for that really are the large, are the large long neck dinosaurs, of which I believe there are around 10 described sauropods uh, from the Isle of Wight. Now for this preparation, I'm using uh, a pneumatic air tool called uh, the Paleo Tools ME9100 from a, a US company. And this is a really versatile tool, which when it's connected to an air compressor, which this is at about 80 to 90 PSI, it's really good at, um, at getting close to the bone and vibrating that matrix off at high speed. Um, you've obviously got to be really, really careful though, because these pneumatic air tools will puncture the bone as much as they'll puncture the matrix. Matrix. So you've got to be super careful and take it slowly. Obviously, this is a time lapse video, which is highly sped up. Um, and probably this was around 10 hours worth of prep work uh, to do in total. So I've paused here just to take a look at how this is progressing um, in, in the light. And, and actually the matrix is coming off, coming off really nicely and the bone quality has really continued um, on both sides of the, um, of the piece. The one thing that's really obvious is this is not a complete vertebrae. In fact, I reckon it's probably only 40%. As you can see on this side, it's missing most of the back end of the vert. So it's the front end of a cervical vert only, um, which is obviously a shame that you're, you're missing it, but you don't tend to find, um, especially with these large bones, you don't tend to find them complete because when they are so uh, filled with complex structures and a honeycomb structure, they're also quite brittle. Um, so when there are cliff falls in the way that these things are found, um, they're not always uh, complete as you'd expect, but it's just great to uh, be able to prep the front end of this out and, uh, and, and try and identify it. 
as an isolated, incomplete vert, um, I don't think we're going to be able to get down to the kind of genus or species in terms of identification. Uh, of the 10 sauropod species that have been determined, four of them are associated with brachiosaurids. So it, it could be part of that uh, part of that group. And there's one called uh, Euchemerotus, which looks like a likely candidate. But well, I don't think we'll ever know. Um, and here it is. Here's the final prepped uh, cervical vert. Uh, you can see the complexity of the structure here uh, with all of those holes uh, penetrating through um, and the, the condyle at the front of it. That's the underside. Um, it really is a beautiful uh, a piece, of, uh, piece of material here, which showcases all the great characteristics of, um, of cervical verts of large sauropods. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, please subscribe if you want to see any more of these. Got plenty more material to work on. Thanks a lot.